All right, guys. So we have with us Mr. Yonggi. He's the uh, country director of the Asian Development Bank. And so, Mr. Yonggi, how do you like Pakistan so far? Well, I mean, it's an amazing country. And a few things I really want to highlight here. First of all, I see the country has a really great potential yeah. in terms of the diversity, in terms of the, the productivity of labor, in terms of the population, the young the dynamics of the population. Of course, everyone knows this country now is facing a, a very critical challenge yeah. at the moment. And of course, the climate change will also yeah. invigorate the challenge for this country is facing. So I would think it's, it's really good timing for us to really sit down and talk about how effectively we can respond to those challenges. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. So um, tell me a bit about yourselves, like if you could just give like a brief and intro yeah 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 okay um you know i had to work a very long time with the asian different bank uh, about 23 years before that i worked for the chinese government mm -hmm. um you know i got my doctor degree in the economics and also bachelor degree in the engineering so it's a good combination yeah um we also in the, in the bank i worked many most of the time for the urban development of water wastewater Solid with uh, you know urban transport, uh, you know we actually built a few BRT projects here in Pakistan. And uh, then in 2021, I was appointed as the country director here and moved in September 21. It's still the COVID time. Yeah, yeah. I, I can start with uh, quite a few challenges yeah. because I cannot meet my team like today yeah. face to face. Uh, but eventually, I managed this those critical time. Now I think the full team is, uh, is now on the full swing. Um, we are allowed to bring our, our, our support package after the standby agreement uh, arrangement uh, reached by the government with the IMF. That's a lot of quite a few kind of support from the ABD as well. So what do, you, uh, what do you think about NDRMF and how do you think we can like move forward mm. like in the future? Where do you see us? Like? That's a good question. I would think, uh, you know, for this country, Pakistan is very vulnerable to the climate and the routers, you know, you know, that, that's, you know, as evidenced by last year, this uh, very severe, uh, that perfect flood. Um, so I think you look at the NDIMF, we supported by ADB. When we, when we develop that uh, concept, when we, we set up the NDIMF, we have the vision to really make the NDIM, NDIMF as a fund or as an institution which can help on the contingent disaster financing, meaning, meaning we want to create our institution, want to create a, 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 a group of the professionals with proper system procedures. That, that, that has done through the verification of different, different partners or international community. So when the disaster comes, then we can really quickly disperse whatever to the country. We're still not, not there yet. I know we have been struggling over the past four, five, six years, yeah. trying to still focus more on the project level, you know, doing the support for the flood management, but still not having strengthened enough our internal as the institution, our own capacity to deliver that kind of you know, ambition or the, uh, the agenda. But I think I actually see this is kind of something very positive today. Yeah. The NDRMF now, I can see they have sure of higher level of energy and be able to reach it out. So I think some this is something I would like to see over time to the proactiveness of this institution reaching out with the stakeholder. Then over time, maybe supported by the different partners, by the government, they can build their capacity and eventually reach this, that, that, that where we want to be. Okay, and what about how do you think Asian Development Bank can help Pakistan and NDRMF? Uh, like, in what ways and what what strategies do you have in mind with us? Yeah, I mean, uh, probably you know, ADB now we we announce we declare uh, we, we declare that ADB as a climate bank. So basically, we are going to you can see we have been increasingly sharpening our operation poker and all the prior has operations towards the climate change, disaster risk management. Um, I, I probably, you know, ADB may announced a big ambition to 
provide climate finance about 100 billion US dollar yeah. uh, until 2030 cumulatively. Yeah. Um, uh, this is a big ambition. That's yeah. all from our own yes. resources that's, for our that's DMC. Very nice. And also this year in May, we had our annual meeting in Seoul, where we also announced another instrument called the IFCAP, Innovative Financing for Climate for Asia and Pacific. Those are the, we want to use that instrument to bring more resources globally yeah. uh, to this region for the climate finance. Mm -hmm. uh, ADB, we have strategy 2030, which is the overarching strategy for the bank. So it's guide our operations, the name foundation, foundation for operations. So it's, all, they have seven operation priorities and two of them are very much linked with today's uh, dialogue. Why yeah. on the climate resilience? Uh, and second one is on the food security. Um, we had our operation plan for the climate change, which guide also our internal management and also our operation. So following that uh, operation plan, we have mainstreamed the climate change uh, consideration in our corporate policies, strategies, yeah. our uh, sector and thematic operation plans, our country partnership strategies, and also our projects. Seeing as in Pakistan, in particular, because you know we need to respond, support the country to respond to the flood damage or reconstruction from the flood last year. So we have again uh, refocused, yeah, refocused or reprioritized our, our patient and focused more on the flood response. And during the flood reconstruction, we want to bring in the concept of the resilience. We want to build back better to really seriously implement those concepts in, in our reconstruction effort. And you can see our pipelines have also been adjusted. We have three year pipeline covering mm -hmm. the future three year, or you can see the highlight or the focus on the climate and disaster resilience. Okay, that was really good. Thank you so much for giving us your time. And we had like, this was very like eye opening for me, especially like, yeah. and you're in, Whatever plans you have for us, that's really nice. Thank you so much. Thank you. Appreciate it.